I think you come to the Belgium to win it. One that shows fight. Good afternoon and welcome to the Don Morrell Show, your chance to hear the thoughts and comments of the head football coach of the Little Giant program. And coach, it's been almost two years since we've had a chance to really sit down and talk about Wabash football. Welcome back. What does it feel like to have the guys back on the field and know that you're getting ready to go to Rose Holman to play an actual game this Saturday? Well, I, I would say uh, that if it was just an opening game, that would be a huge understatement. After pandemic two years off graduating a senior class that didn't get the play certainly the uh, expectations and there's so many pieces of it for this season are high you do get ready to play a game this saturday we're at rose holman a seven o'clock start time on saturday evening what's gone into the preparation how ha has anything been different from how you would normally prepare for that opening game because of everything we've gone through. And on top of everything else, you've been dealing with the warmer temperatures, uh, which have thrown you a couple of curveballs over the past week or so. I think we have been hit with everything possible in the last 12 months, but we've worked through it. Spring football was critical for us. We had about 12 practices. I think that got us ready for camp. We've had a good camp. We have been challenged by Thunder and heat but we're working through that and then we've done a great job on the COVID front which is around there's no doubt about it uh, with uh, not a positive test yet so the team has done an excellent job on the COVID front and preparing for football after a year off. You mentioned spring football uh, what was that like? It was a little different than what you normally go through in the spring the NCAA relaxed some guidelines what did that allow you and the team to do? Well, we got to put on helmet and shoulder pads, and I think that's so important. It would be like playing baseball without a bat. Um, just critical to the players' growth as players. Our sophomore players who missed their sophomore fall really matured quickly over the course of 12 days in 12 pretty rigorous practices uh, to make sure they would be ready for uh, this fall camp. Let's break down some of uh, the, the two sides of the ball on offense and defense. First, let's start on offense. Who are some players to keep an eye on this year? Obviously, you bring back the newcomer of the year from 2019, Liam Thompson at quarterback. You've got Cooper Sullivan, Nick Heyman back at wide receiver. Uh, you've got Dane Smith anchoring that offensive line. He was an all-conference player in 2019. Uh, who are some names? Obviously, those people but some others who should we watch for on offense well yeah uh, you got to remember uh heisman skeen started in a playoff game as a freshman jackson claiborne played a ton as a uh, sophomore um, brandon english started as a freshman missed a sophomore year now he's a junior joe mullen at center is going to be a key player for us um, and then in the backfield uh, we're expecting big things from uh, donovan snyder who's going to be a really good football player for us uh, Noah Beerman, uh, we've got other guys too. That just we have a nice collection of players, uh, and it, it's all built around the quarterback. Defensively, you bring back uh, some experienced players there as well. Jose Franco, who's been a starter all three seasons, will be a starter for you again this year. He was the 2018 Newcomer of the Year. Uh, but you've got some talent around him as well, Kenny Coleman, uh, you bring back some additional experience in the defensive backfield. Uh, what can we look for on the defensive side, and who are some of those players we should watch for? Well, with that group, uh, the other key guy is Cameron Ferguson, who started as a sophomore for us. Then up front, David Marsh returns, Seth Burrish returns, Kenny Coleman, as you mentioned, returns, Josh Myers has been waiting his turn to start at backer. He's going to get that opportunity finally. So I, I think we're going to be – uh, talented on defense, and then I think we did a really nice job recruiting the one class that did not get the play and recruiting a class in COVID, which was tricky, um, but we had uh, great guidelines and help from President Feller on that. He gave us leeway to go out and physically recruit, not just Zoom call kids, and uh, I think that paid off for us. We move to uh, special teams. Uh, obviously, that starts with the preseason All-American, uh, Joey Anae at 
punter. Uh, but you bring back some experience there as well with Jacob Handley in the kicking game. And you've got some other talented players around there. Brigham Anderson uh, we will see on some special teams. Uh, what what are some things to look for there in the special teams play? Uh, uh, we've been impressed with uh, Hunter Pugh, uh, the backup punter, who's going to be a really good player here for a while too. Uh, Joey Anne is just a weapon. He can change the field. He gets the punt off uh, in a ridiculously fast fashion. Um, so you're never excited about punting, uh, but Joey does flip the field often. Let's talk about your opponent quickly. Uh, we go to Rose Holman. Uh, it was a team that we were scheduled to play here in 2020. We won't have that opportunity. But we go to Rose Holman. You play a night game, only the second night game in the last 25 years for a Wabash College football team. Uh, what does Rose present in terms of some challenges that you expect, and how do you prepare for a night game? Well, first of all, this, it's a product of COVID again. You really don't know. Nobody knows what anybody is doing on offense or defense. You really don't know what players are back or who graduated and moved on. Uh, your freshman class hasn't had much of an opportunity to learn in three weeks of camp. So I, I think across the country it's going to be the great unknown uh, football-wise. And then uh, additionally for us, you know, the night game clearly we don't have lights at Wabash College I don't think that will be a factor all of our kids played high school football and they're used to that what are going to be the important keys for your team to come away with a win Saturday night uh, number one will be the turnover issue and I think they're going to be turnovers because kids haven't been really really uh, hit yet you really don't get that in camp um, or in a scrimmage uh, the way you're used to and then I think there are going to be mistakes where you only have 10 guys on the punt team or you've got uh, 13 guys on the punt return team. The, the usual first game mistakes compounded by not playing for a year. What have been some pleasant surprises for you from this team during uh, your camp and preseason practices? Uh, it, it really started in spring, just the level of commitment to football and it it really was a deal too where some kids after living without football for a year felt the need not to play it anymore which is perfectly fine they're doing great here at wabash college but the kids that really really missed it and find it such a integral part of their college experience have been so dedicated uh, in camp with weightlifting coming into camp in phenomenal shape uh, that by far has been, we, we've had zero problems. I've saved this final question for you uh, for today's broadcast. We are taping the Don Morell show in a new location. We are on the observation deck, uh, the, the W Club deck at Little Giant Stadium. This stadium is now ready to bring fans back. We've had people here for the commencement ceremony, for the ringing in ceremony. Uh, we had a home track meet in the spring, but we are ready to get people back for football. What has this stadium meant to the players uh, to be able to practice here, and how excited are they to get ready to play their first game in a couple of weeks in this stadium? Well, I, uh, first of all, it just speaks volumes, volumes to the loyalty and support we get from our alums. These are passionate men who feel like Wabash College completely changed the trajectory of their lives where they would come back and build an incredible facility like this and for our fans who haven't been to the stadium I think you're going to be blown away when you see this thing uh, and then to our players it means so much about the the little giants who came before them we will have a home game in two weeks homecoming uh, stadium dedication a lot of other events going on that weekend but our focus right now is this Saturday. Wabash will play at Rose Holman in Terre Haute. Tickets are available. You can go to the Wabash website at sports.wabash.edu, click on the football schedule, and you can purchase tickets for Saturday night's game at Rose Holman. And I would recommend getting those tickets in advance. We're already hearing a lot of Wabash fans will be there, and we want to make sure there is a room for you to come and watch the Wabash team on Saturday. Speaking of ticket sales, tickets are also on sale for home games here at Little Giant Stadium. 
You can purchase tickets for the first four home games, general admission tickets. Those are available again for the games against Allegheny, against Worcester, against Oberlin, and against Wittenberg. You can also purchase one of the special packages to join the W Club. That includes the red seat back chairs located just below us in the upper portion of the uh, regular seating area of Little Giant Stadium. And it also provides access to the club level during the game for food and beverages. Uh, those tickets are not available for the opening game against Allegheny. Uh, those tickets are all already spoken for. But you can purchase a season ticket for a W Club seat and W Club access by going to the Wabash website and clicking on the ticket uh, item on the schedule page. You can click on that link and that will take you to our university tickets website and you can purchase those W Club seats. And those seats do include the Monon Bell game. General admission Monon Bell game tickets will be on sale later this year. And for all the information on and the latest on the Wabash football program, make sure you check out sports.wabash.edu. Coach, thank you so much for your time today. We look forward to seeing you down at Terre Haute on Saturday night. And good luck to you and the Little Giant team. Thank you. You've been watching the Don Morrell Show, your chance to hear the thoughts and comments of the Little Giant head coach. We'll talk to you next week. I think you come to the Belgium to win it. Wabash always fight.